afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the self-loaning barge Pathfinder and its pusher tug at the back, Dorothy Ann, arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal. The barge Pathfinder at the front was built as the steamer J.L. Mothy in 1953 by the Great Lakes Engineering Works. the captain salute which is a traditional greeting we hear very often here at the canal the ship initiates the greeting with one long blast followed by two short blasts and the bridge responds with the same thing as i was saying here the uh, barge pathfinder measures 606 feet in length 70 feet in width and 36 feet in depth she has 19 hatches on her deck which open into five cargo holds okay below deck she has a maximum carrying capacity of 26,700 tons Above her deck, just in front of the uh, tug, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to load her own cargo without the aid of shore-side equipment. She's also equipped with a bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The tug Dorothy Ann at the back was built in 1998 by Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 124 feet in length, 44 feet in width, and 24 feet in depth. She is powered by two 7,200-horsepower Z-Drive EMD diesel engines which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. Both the Pathfinder and Dorothy Ann have a combined length of 700 feet. Both are owned and operated by the Inner Lake Steamship Company in Millbrook Heights, Ohio. The Pathfinder was originally built as a AAA class steamer for the Inner Lake Steamship Company to carry iron ore between Duluth and Superior in the lower lakes. In her later years, she was confined to moving grain on the Great Lakes. This trade eventually declined and caused the Mothy to be laid up here in Superior, Wisconsin. 1993. To extend her career, it was designed to convert her into a self unloading barge, which was done at Bay Shipbuilding in 1998. Her pusher tug, Dorothy Ann, is the most maneuverable tug of her kind on the Great Lakes. Her Z drive engines allow her to stop within 120 feet, turn on her own access, and move easily in any direction. The pair, uh, Pathfinder and Dorothy Ann, they're on their way in today with a cargo of salt, which they loaded in Cleveland. They'll be unloading that cargo. Uh, at Halliday. So once again, we have the Dorothy Anna Pathfinder arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal. They have a combined length of 700 feet. Both are owned and operated by the Air Lake Seamship Company of Millbrook Heights, Ohio, and they are currently on their way in today with a load of salt, which they'll be unloading that at Halliday, and then they'll be loading iron ore pellets at Canadian National on their way out. And now that that pair has come through, it looks like the Masabi Miner will be uh, right, uh, come departing through the canal here in about 20 or so minutes. Another quick announcement, uh, just a friendly reminder to please avoid feeding the seagulls here in our park. Feeding the gulls leads to malnourishment. As foods such as popcorn and bread are harmful to their health as their bodies were not made to digest human food. It also increases the likelihood of a gull pooping on you or anyone else just trying to enjoy their day. Once again, please do not feed the seagulls here in our park. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation.